Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, we had a little bit of an exciting day. We saw a little bit of price movement today um, further to the downside. Um, did already highlight that in the previous video to you and highlighted that the ideal target for a third wave would be somewhere down there. I think it was 1587. We can just double check that. <clears throat> that was the um, based on the measurement of the wave one, yeah, taking the length of the wave one, going to the high of the wave two, the yeah, ideal target around 1570, 1571. Did already correct that on Telegram and Discord earlier today. So again, if you wanna be up to date, maybe check out our gold membership for um, signals and all sorts of other stuff. But um, the thing is that it seems like wave three, circle wave three, this might be unfolding as an ending diag. Well, the wave three as part of an ending diagonal, which would be the C wave. So we might not go down that far. In fact, we actually reacted with that third wave here to the golden ratio again, the 61.8 retracement. So our support areas on the chart, they do work nicely. We had here the 50% retracement where the price did react a few times um, over the last week. Yeah, so should never be a surprise if prices start to rally off our support areas. Um, but they can never generate an impulse, really. So for now, we're watching if price can go down lower, especially as long as, let me see, the 18, is it 1800? Yeah, that wave too high here, uh, which is Sunday's high. Yeah, as long as 1800 is intact, the pressure to the downside remains. Only really getting above that level would indicate that a low has been made. Um, at the moment, it seems to me that obviously after our impulse to the upside, so where we rallied in a wave one of the 10th of March low, um, that obviously we're coming down in an A wave, moved up in a B wave, and we're now coming down in a C wave, that this is not finished yet. I mean, there are a couple of options how this can be labeled. Um, at the moment, the downside pressure remains clearly. Already earlier today, I did highlight to you that we so far haven't seen any impulsive price action to the upside nothing that really looked solid and would allow for the price to really build on it to the upside. Yeah. Um, in the end, Ethereum came down together with Bitcoin after Bitcoin's expected triangle break to the downside. So looking at this structure here, it could very well be that, yeah, you know, this was a wave one. This year was the wave two of the C wave. This year was the wave three possibly complete. We're now in a wave four, at least it looks like it, sideways consolidation in a four, and then one more wave down in a five. That could complete this entire C wave, especially if it goes below the low of the A wave, which it already is, to be honest, right? That was here at 17.15. <clears throat> and then we need to see if this thing is over, yeah, and if the wave two low is in. Certainly what I can tell you is that one more low would be fine. Also for many altcoins, one more low would be fine. However, many altcoins can't really handle more than one more low because they're already at the bottom or very, very deep at least in support, in the relevant support areas for their wave two. So ideally, ideally they don't go much lower because then there is a big risk of invalidation of the relevant one, two setups, basically our long trade setups. Um, of course, this is not the only way how it can unfold, but I, I'm watching if we can go down lower. So I would use descending trend line of the descending wedge, the upper boundary line, as a possible resistance for wave four. So this wave four can certainly go a little higher, especially if it is a diagonal, yeah, a diagonal pattern. Um, but it looks like it's consolidating in a pretty tight range, pretty typical for a fourth wave. So. We, we could still be in a fourth wave. We could also go a little higher in a fourth. Not a problem. E either way, as long as wave two high is in place here, 1800, and doesn't get taken out, downside pressure remains within this structure. So yeah, this is sort of what I'm watching at the moment. And another low in a wave five, well, it could, obviously it might adhere here to the trend line, but it could, in a more extreme case, head all the way down to around about 1662, our 78.6 retrace. Could it also be that it's unfolding not as a diagonal, but indeed as an impulse as stated before? Yes. So I think if we really break impulsively below 1662, 
then this third wave is still ongoing and then we talk about our 1570 level then we get a fourth and a fifth that would be the let's say short term more bearish pattern but overall it wouldn't change anything in the higher level assumption that bitcoin and ethereum are both in an uptrend it would just lead to a deeper pullback um cheaper prices yeah better entries again um, but for now i'm watching if one more low is enough and then we just need to see how do we react to the next swing low yeah but i wouldn't rule out that the wave three is getting is developing as an impulse to the downside based on my first target down to 1570 but the fact that we stopped there where we stopped um indicates actually that this has a chance of being a triangle. If I compare that to some other charts, Bitcoin as well, yeah, one more low would be fine. For example, BNB, one more low would be fine. So yeah, this, this makes sense to me, but um, of course you never really know if one more low will be enough. But what I can tell you is that one more low and probabilities are high that we get a turnaround or at least have a more substantial low in place because it would indicate that a corrective pattern is complete doesn't mean it has to turn around, but it means the chances and the probabilities do increase. So yeah, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.